welcome back to my channel and if you're new what is up my name is VNA Strick thank you so much for being here so today I decided to do a little review and demo on this guy right here this is the Desi and Katie Dose of Colors Friendcation Palette. I decided to do this look for you guys. I showed you guys swatches, told you guys about the formula, and I also mixed a bunch of shimmers together to show you other shades that you can come up with with this palette. So I really hope that you guys enjoy this video. And if you do enjoy this video, you know what to do. Please make sure to give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to join my squad. And today's post notification shout out goes to Avengers Glam. Avengers Glam, thank you so, so much for having your post notifications on, for commenting on my videos and for showing me so much support. I love you. And if you wanna be my next post notification shout out, all you have to do is turn them on and comment when you are done. Let's get into the video. Alrighty guys, so let's just get started. Like I said in the intro, I wanted this to be a quick review because obviously I want to review the palette for you guys, but I know there's so many reviews out there. So I did want to make it different and show you guys a lot of different possibilities of the shimmers like mixing together to make new colors. Now, um, another YouTuber gave me this idea. She um, combined a couple and made really pretty shades. I don't remember her channel or her name off the top of my head, but I will link her video down below because she did inspire this like mixing colors kind of idea for my video. So I really hope that you guys enjoy. So let's just talk about this palette real quick. Honestly, this is the first palette that I've actually been excited about in a really, really long time. I've been so bored and I just think that this is a great palette because I, it is a little bit pricey. It is $55, but it is Dose of Colors. I personally have never even tried their formula before. I've actually never tried anything from them, so I'm really excited. So this is the outer packaging. It says Frankation in the back. It's nice and rose gold. And of course, they kept the same packaging. I believe they just did it a little bit darker. And this is so beautiful. I love it. I don't feel like it's going to get dirty. And it does have a sticker with the names on the back. So as you guys can see, these are all the shades. There is five mattes and five shimmers. What I like about this palette so much is that I feel like it's something different, of course, because there's so many pops of colors. And I love that they're all like foiled, almost glitters. I just feel like a lot of people would have a lot of fun with this palette, especially because... I feel like if you are good at makeup and you like makeup, this is a good palette just to play around with color. But I also feel like if you're not good at makeup, that you can also use this and be like, not if you're not good at makeup, but I feel like if you have a hard time making colorful looks, pretty looks, I feel like these shades are so, they just stand out so much that you could literally just throw something in the crease and then put that on with your finger and it would create a beautiful look. So I do think it's beginner friendly, but I think it's also really exciting for makeup junkies as well. So I will swatch all the shades on my arm real quick and then I will show you guys a bunch of mixtures of shimmer shades. Here are all the shades. Um, they all look really beautiful. The only one that didn't swatch super, super pigmented is that first cream shade, but I'm sure it'll look beautiful on the eyes. But all the shimmers are so, so beautiful and they're not chunky. They're like nice and thin, but really, really pigmented. I really do think that you're gonna get a lot out of these pans. And then of course the mattes are beautiful and buttery. Okay, and as you guys saw, I did turn off one of my uh, softbox lights so you guys could see what it looks like with, you know, not so, so many lights. So I'm just gonna start mixing some shades in the back of my hand. And then I, since there's so many tutorials already on this uh, palette, I kind of wanna do a look with a mixed shimmer shade because I feel like that would be a little bit different. Okay, so first I'm gonna mix Try Me, which is like the rose gold. And I'm gonna put that on my hand. And I'm gonna mix it with the blue one, which is a moment. So as you guys can see, it has like the pinky shimmer and then the blue one on top and it turns into a really beautiful purple. Next, I wanna do Dirty Money and a Moment. So like the blue and the green and see what we come up with. I'm gonna go in with the blue one first this time. Okay, so it just turns it into more of a muted teal almost. So there's that. Let's try Dirty Money and Try Me, which is, I know it's gonna be like a pink and a green. So this turned it into almost like a rose gold. Hmm, not bad. It's kind of like a, like a dirty rose gold. Like really, it did turn it into like a dark rose gold. You wouldn't think to mix, um, you know, pink and green, but that's what it came out. I think it looks really, really beautiful. And lastly, I'm going to mix the darkest one, which I believe it's game over. Yeah, game over. Just a kiss, which is like just like the 
the champagne color and I'm just gonna put that on top. Okay, so here are all the shades. I feel like Just a Kiss, the one on top with uh, Game Over kind of turned into like a gray, like a shimmery gray. So I think my favorite is definitely the purple. So I think that's what I'm gonna do with the eyes. So my face is done and I do have my eyes primed with some concealer and I'm just blending the edges out because um, I don't set my concealer anymore or my eye primer, so this is tacky concealer if you are wondering. So I'm first going to go in with the shade Necessary, which is just like a light transition shade. Whoa, that's way more pigmented and dark than I thought. But you also have to keep in mind that when you don't set your eye primer or concealer, things are going to be a little bit more pigmented and sometimes a little bit darker. Wow, that blended so easily and like not patchy at all. I'm gonna grab a smaller brush. I am using the Jaclyn Hill brushes, I love them. Um, by the way, they're all clean. I am gonna go in with this shade right here. Sorry, I'm not trying to blind you. This is the shade Churro. And I'm just gonna put it right under the crease just to start deepening up everything like i said i've never actually tried dose of colors anything but i hear that their eyeshadows are really beautiful and so of course they're um they're liquid lipsticks so i don't know why but it's not looking as like orangey as i would like it's actually coming off really really dark for some reason Maybe it's just those two, those two shades mixed together. It does look really pretty. It's just these shades are a lot darker than I thought they would be. It looks really pretty. It looks really effortless. This is blending so quick. I feel like I'm going really fast. Um, I'm quickly just gonna go back to the big, the first brush, which is this big fluffy brush. It's the JH30, which I love to go back in and kind of just buff everything out. It's really flimsy and really big, so I love it for that. I'm gonna go in with this tiny little brush. This is the JH40, and then I'm gonna go in with the shade girl by which is this beautiful mauve shade and i'm just gonna start outlining like in the crease because i really want this color to pop so i'm gonna go right into the crease i'm kind of doing the same exact thing that i did with the other color just obviously with a smaller brush it's gonna come out a little bit more pigmented and i really want this color to show up and then going back in with a little blending brush right here Probably shouldn't have done my face makeup first, but so far there really isn't any fallout, so I guess it doesn't even matter. By the way, so far these mattes are very pigmented and like not chalky at all, and there's not much fallout either. There's just like a like a healthy amount of fallout. The only thing I have to say is that I feel like all these shades are blending together a lot, but maybe that's just my fault. I just feel like I don't really see the gradient that I wanted. So I think I'm gonna go in with the blue first just because I kind of want to see what it looks like. So I'm gonna go with my finger first. Oh my God, these shades are so pretty. This formula is insane. And by the way, I'm not wetting these at all. I kind of just want to see how they work on their own. Which so far, I don't even think you need to wet them. Wow. And now I'm gonna go in with my finger first and kind of just start mixing, I guess. Ooh. And then I'm gonna go in with the brush and also mix a little bit of that pink. Okay, so now I'm gonna go with a small brush and go into the shade Cheens, which is the dark brown shade. And I'm just going to kind of just smoke it out a little bit on the outer corner. And then I'm also going to take another flat brush and what I'm gonna do is just highlight my brow bone with this shade, which is basic. Okay, so this shade is like a light pink. So it's actually, it's actually making 
my brow a little bit darker. So this is definitely not going to highlight your brow if you are my skin tone. I'm just doing the other eye because I want it to look the same. But if you are darker than me, then this might work as a really nice eyebrow highlight. So lastly, I'm going to go into Just a Kiss. And I heard this is more of a topper. So I'm just going to like go with my finger. I'm just going to tap it on because I want to make it pop a little bit more. Yeah, I like that more. Yeah, see how this is just more highlighted than this other eye? This almost looks like duochrome in person. Oh, I really like it. It kind of shifts everywhere you look. Coolio. So then I'm gonna finish out the lower lash line real quick. I'm gonna go with a flat brush and I really wanna bring out like the pinks, the pink tones. So I'm gonna go in back again with this um, girl by shade and I'm just gonna line the outer half of my eye. And then with a smaller little blending brush, I'm just gonna buff it out with a mixture of Chiro and also this shade, which is Necessary, which is the Necessary shade. I like it a lot. So I'm gonna take a little brush like this, which is what I like to use for my inner corner highlight. And I'm gonna use Just a Kiss, which I don't know if it's gonna work out, so I'm gonna wet it for sure. Oh yeah, definitely. It's not super, super bright, but it is like glittery. So like, I'm not mad about it. Like it works, but I would definitely use something brighter. But I think it looks pretty with the look. Okay, so I'm gonna quickly um, put on some eyeliner, some lashes, finish out this look, and then we'll come back and I'll give you guys my final thoughts. All right, I am back and I decided to go in with a fun lip because this was a fun look. Um, I'm trying to find the lipstick. I just really wanted to try out the ColourPop Luxe lipsticks and this is in the shade La Lady, which is, like I said, what I have on. And I like the way it looks. I think it's very, um, I don't know, I almost feel like a fairy. Does that even make sense? This is the final look, and I just wanted to come on here and say that I really, really do like this palette. I know it's a little pricey, but if it is in your price range, I definitely suggest picking it up. It's definitely just something different. I love that they came out with so many like pigmented, shimmery, glitter, shimmer shade. I just feel like, I don't know, I feel like it has all the pops of colors that you need, but also all the neutrals that you need, and I just love this. I love the packaging, I love that it has a mirror. I definitely do think this is just travel friendly. You could do the most basic, awesome neutral look, or you could go crazy with all the shades. And honestly, I didn't really get much fallout. I really do think that this is awesome. I wanna keep doing more videos with them. I'm actually going on vacation soon and I'm definitely bringing this with me. So I just, I think it's great. And like I said, also you can mix the colors and make new shades. So don't even think that you're just limited to what's on the pan. So do I think you should get it? Like, do I recommend it? Yes, I think it's great formula, great packaging, great idea and great color story. So yeah, I'm pretty stoked about this look. I love it. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Please let me know down below if you are thinking about picking it up. I would love to know. I really, I should have picked up more from the collection. I just didn't want to spend so much money. But let me know if you guys picked up anything else from the collection. What do you guys like? I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all very much. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.